it's very cold and so I'm wearing a sweater because I don't like the cold. And my chair is very squeaky apparently. I read the title of the video. You are here to listen to me discuss the different types of beddings, uh, safe beddings, non-safe beddings, nesting materials, and extra textures that you can include in your hamster's cage for extra simulation. I'm going to start off by saying that basically all of the unsafe bedding properties that are like desirable that can be replaced by safe beddings. So unsafe beddings would include any like softwood beddings like pine and cedar. These beddings both include um, natural chemicals that are actually toxic and like you know hamsters put bedding in their mouths to move it around and stuff so you, you don't want your hamster ingesting that. Um, there is scented and baking soda beddings um, which are like the same thing like it's a super potent smell like the idea of those is like keep the smell down you don't need that if you have a cage that you're cleaning once a month once every two months like it's large enough and your hamster has like an appropriate amount of bedding you shouldn't need any special measures to keep the smell down baking soda is a very harsh material I'll say to have in your hamster's cage and as for scented beddings it's it's kind of like if you had a whole bunch of candles all throughout your house and the smell was like super strong all the time you don't want to be living in that environment like me like 100% like I love candles too you can see them on my shelf but you it's gonna give you breathing problems eventually if you're around a super strong smell like that for so long. And hamsters are so prone to upper respiratory infections that you don't want to subject them to anything that could cause an upper respiratory infection. And finally, unsafe bedding that I wanted to talk about is more of a nesting material. It's this, and it's like a cotton fluff that people buy to put into their hamsters' cages so that they can nest with it. Um, this isn't safe because it has so many little fibers in it that can easily wrap around your hamster's teeth, get stuck in their pouches. It's very dangerous and you should not include this in your hamster's cage. If you have it in there, go pluck it out. And I'm going to tell you things that you can use to replace all of these unsafe beddings. So as for the first four, um, pine, cedar, scented beddings, and baking soda beddings. My chair is very squeaky. They can all be replaced very safely with aspen bedding. Aspen bedding is also a wood bedding, but there's no chance of like it having toxic chemicals in it that could harm your hamster. It is so good for keeping smell down. My hamster is particularly stinky because he's he pees in a sand bath, but whenever he does pee in like the aspen bedding, I can't even smell it because it's so good. Um, you can use paper-based beddings, which come in so many different varieties. There's, you can make your own with like shredded tissue, toilet tissue, facial tissues, which is what you would use to replace um, the cotton fluff bedding. And they can use that either as like their actual bedding or you can use it as like a nesting material to put in for them. I personally use it as a nesting material because I know it's soft and he loves to drag it down into his little burrow. Um, other paper-based beddings include the kind that are like shredded up into like little tiny pieces, um, like this one. Um, there's also ones that come in like a clumpier kind of system, like this. And then there's ones that come in pellets, I believe. It's just basically like a more dense thing, where if you don't have access to any of the other options, it's fine, it's not going to harm your hamster but it's not ideal for burrowing. So I would stay away from the last one. It is safe, so don't worry about it. Um, you can use like shredded cardboard beddings as well because it's just paper, it's not gonna harm them, but that's more of like a, um, a rough texture, so it's not exactly ideal for nesting and everything. Um, you can use hemp shavings, and if you have a newspaper that has soy-based ink on it, that is also safe. The reason I specify soy-based ink is because that won't be toxic to the hamster when they ingest, not ingest it, but like when they have it in their mouths and on those salivary glands, because like the salivary glands will absorb it into their bloodstream and like anything that's toxic will be absorbed that way. Um, 
but that's why it has to be a soy-based ink because that would be safe for them to have in their mouths. So as I said, aspen bedding can replace basically anything. It is so good for keeping the smell down. And if you get a particular, like if you tried a few different kinds, I find that there's ones that are more shredded up and more some that are more flaky. So I personally like to buy the ones that are more shredded up because it's just softer. And I use about 75% aspen and about 25% paper-based bedding, like the fluffy kind, and I just mix them all together just to make it a little bit softer, I guess, but I still have the benefits of, you know, like not having any excess smell kind of thing. Um, and he, he loves it. Like I've tried different beddings in, the, in, his, in his enclosure and he really seems to enjoy this one. Like he'll actually bring this one into his burrow, his burrow box, which is way down there. Um, he doesn't like to burrow on his own, so I had to make him a burrow box. That's another story. Um, but this is like a bedding combination that he actually really likes to bring into his burrow himself. And for that reason, I highly suggest having like a mix because it offers the scent properties, but it also is still soft enough that like it's not harsh on them. Um, some extra textures that you could very easily include in your hamster's cage are like a sand bath. Um, he has a huge one because, as I said, it's what he pees and poops in. Um, and I just sift it with a little sieve, a little sifter thing, um, every day or so. And just to keep it out, because the sand doesn't keep the smell down, you can really smell it because there's no scent eliminating properties to sand. It's just, you can just smell it. Um, you can also use Eco Earth. As long as, like, you, you know, dry and sanitize all of these, like, they're totally safe. Eco Earth is a really fun texture that you can include. I can't get it where I'm to, but I've been trying to forever. And it's just a really fun texture that you can include for your hamster. It's kind of like dirt, so it's very natural. Um, but it's just a great stimulating texture that you can include for your hamster. Um, something else that you can put in is hay. Now, be careful when you're getting different kinds of hay because hay is very pokey. If you've ever been around it, like you'll know it's very pokey. Um, so I would suggest buying something like orchard grass hay or like a hay that's very soft. Some ham hamsters may munch on it, but like probably not. There's not a whole lot of nutrients in it that they need. Um, but I have seen a lot of hamsters use it as nesting materials. It's a fun extra texture to walk on. It's great to have in the cage. And finally, an easy way that you can just have different textures for your hamster to walk on is to just include different regular beddings in your cage. You can have a section that is aspen, you can have a section that's like paper-based pellets, you can have a section that is like fluffy paper-based, you can have a whole bunch of different sections so that they can walk around and experience those different textures on their little, on their little peats, their little feetsies. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so, so much for listening. Please consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, consider liking the video if you liked it. If you didn't like the video, then I'm not sure you would still be here at this point. Um, and comment if you have anything that you wanted to let me know, if you have any particular questions about hamsters that you want me to answer. Yeah. Or if you just want to say hi, comment and say hey, and I'll say hey back. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please have a wonderful day, and yeah. Bye.